The story of Alice Tankerville. Who is the Tower of London's most famous prisoner? Difficult to choose, isn't it? You're bound to be thinking of one of the rich ones, a noble of high status, perhaps Queen Anne Boleyn, or a prince, or a knight of the realm, such as Sir Walter Raleigh, perhaps even one who was very famously put to death, such as Lady Jane Grey. The rich and the powerful prisoners are the ones that we most often hear about. But the Tower also held poorer people, whose crimes were just as interesting and whose punishments weren't quite so clean cut. <coughs> One such prisoner went by the name of Alice Tankerville, or, as some people thought she was married, Alice Wolfe. Her husband, John Wolfe, who was a dock worker with a dubious past, in 1533, during the reign of King Henry VIII, hatched a plan to commit murder and robbery. In the January of that year, Alice made friends with two very rich foreign merchants and persuaded them to take a boat trip with her on the Thames. A friend rowed the three to a place known as the Turning Tree where the merchants were in for a surprise. But not the one they were thinking of. For as soon as they reached the appointed spot, John burst out of his hiding place and set upon them with a dagger. Running one through, he then turned on the other, whose cries for help went unheard and finished him off. In a matter of moments, both merchants were dead, and having tied the bodies together, Alice and John pushed them overboard. The three villains then rowed back to shore and stole a small fortune of 366 French crowns from the merchants' rooms. But six months later, the merchants' bodies were discovered, and all the evidence pointed to John Wolfe, he was immediately arrested and taken to the tower, where he was imprisoned while he waited his punishment. Alice visited him there every day, and over time became good friends with one of the servants of the lieutenant of the tower. In fact, when John was set free, perhaps due to lack of evidence, and decided to leave England for a while, this same servant, John Board, agreed to take care of Alice while he was gone. This, as we'll learn, was Bord's undoing, as it is most likely that he fell hopelessly in love <laughs> with Alice. Some time later, in 1534, John Wolfe felt it was safe to return to London. But almost as soon as he arrived back in England, he was recognised, arrested and dragged back to the tower, even though he'd previously been set free. However, this time he was not alone, because the authorities now suspected that both husband and wife were involved in the crime, and so Alice was arrested and sent to the tower too. Husband and wife were kept in separate cells, with Alice imprisoned in the cold harbour tower where she was placed in cuffs and chained to the wall. She soon learnt some devastating news. In her absence, she had been tried and found guilty, and the punishment would be death. Not knowing what to do, she turned to her friend Bord, and because he'd fallen in love with Alice, he decided to help her escape. They soon hatched a plan and set it in motion. On the night of the escape, the door to Alice's cell was easily opened, as with a shake, the lock broke and Alice slipped out easily. The outer door needed a key. This was no obstacle, though, as she simply took out the key that Bord had smuggled into her cell earlier. At ten o'clock at night... Long after his working day was finished, Bord snuck back into the castle and met Alice at the top of St Thomas's Tower. Tying a rope to an iron ring, they lowered themselves carefully down the outside of the wall into a boat that Bord had left there. All they needed to do now was to get to the horses that he had waiting nearby and ride the short distance to the safe house he had arranged. It was going to be easy. Or so they thought. They had mistimed their escape and were met by the guards on the night watch. Bord was recognised instantly and confronted about why he was at the tower so late. On closer inspection, it turned out the gentleman who was with him was no gentleman at all. It was quite clearly a woman in disguise. And not just any woman, but the prisoner, Alice Wolfe. Both were taken back and presented before the lieutenant. No mercy was shown. Alice was sent back to her chains and bored to the little ease. A room so small he could neither stand nor lay down. 
Left crouching for days, he was first tortured on the rack and was then left hanging in chains until dead. As for Alice and her husband, they too had a grisly fate. As their crime had taken place on the river, they were convicted of piracy and so would receive a pirate's death. Alice and John Wolfe were taken to the pirate's gallows at Wapping. Here they were hung in chains at low tide and endured an agonisingly slow death as the tide rose until it covered their heads and they were drowned. Over the centuries, there have been many prisoners held within the tower's walls. And of all the prisoners, very few have escaped. And only one escapee has been a woman, Alice Tankerville. And so next time you think about the tower and its gruesome past, think about Alice, who despite her quick recapture and shocking execution, remains the only woman to successfully escape from the Tower of London. <laughs>